has said that an investigation is on at the moment. Four of the boys have been um, held. Mm -hmm. They have been apprehended and they're helping <coughs> in the investigation. And they are going to follow this through to its logical conclusion. And anybody found culpable, any child found culpable, will be dealt with according to the law of the land. I mean, that's, that's pleasing to know, but the girls still don't feel safe. Mr. Mark mm. the when uh, Mr. Kenneva was talking, he said something about values, and I had to write down the home front, the school front, and the, the religious um, side of it all. Can something be done beyond what is seemingly being done now to move us from where we are to where we ought to be? I think we need to start by asking what are our values. And our values in this day and age appears to be faulty morally. Because it's a society whereby we flaunt sex and we promote it by what we say and what we do. Almost in every sector of our environment today, you find the F word. It's been flaunted. But it appears to me that parents are trying to push their responsibility to school administrators. That, I would say, it's absolutely wrong. It appears to me that we parents, we're not pushing as we ought to. We're not placing before our children what they ought to do, and we're not following up. A lot of us parents leave the training of our children to our helps to our domestic staff. A lot of us leave the training of our children to what they watch on the movie. And funny enough, the social media is a band with everything sex. So parents need to reorientate self, one, by unlearning those things that they have learned and to learn appropriate values in taking care of children. Parents need to learn themselves. Yes meaning that they are lacking in the knowledge because they are, it's not reflected in their children. Not that they are lacking the knowledge, they are failing in applying the knowledge they have. A lot of parents hardly talk to children on issues of sex. We appear to shy away from it, and that's where the problem is. What is wrong? I remember all our children, I have to bathe them. And in talking to them while bathing them, I have to tell them what the use of those private parts are. And I have to explain to them that Sorry, no at, one... At what age did you do this? From age zero up to age five. So it's a shared responsibility between my wife and I. So my children can come to me and ask me questions about their sexuality. And I know... There was this house close to where my children were going to school. And um, a friend of mine lived there. And I know that my children always say, Dad, why don't you take us to your friend's house when you come late to pick us? And I said, no. Because I know who my friend is. <laughs> so it's like we don't sit with our children and explain to them what they need to do. Schools have their roles, just eight hours. Like my brother, the lawyer, said, it's just to teach you. Morals are basically not taught in schools today. Morals are taught at home. The church only has two or three hours on Sundays, or the mosque on Friday. So the greater responsibility lies with parents. We had the fortune of grandmothers coming around, teaching us those things there. But grandmothers are working now and earning money. <laughs> so since grandmothers are working now, Parents ought to be responsible. And it doesn't take you more than five minutes to ask a child, how was your day? And did anybody touch you? Did anything happen? A child may not respond immediately. It may take days, but later on, a child will open up. These are different times. Because no. when we were growing up, we didn't, we didn't get asked, did anybody touch you? Yeah, but, but these are different times, aren't they? But don't forget that when we two were growing up, I was telling my wife a story yesterday, which I've never told anyone to yesterday. We lived in a place, very safe place, and there was this house help of our neighbor who came and said, why don't you rub my back? And I could see the boobs, 
And I said to myself, at age seven, I wasn't brought up this way. And so ever since, when my parents are not home, I won't go to the next house. I prefer to go to another house where I have friends that we can play together. I never discussed that with my mom, but I know we've been taught it's a no-go area. So if we have launched our children into this moral campaign at the early age, they will know what to do. But don't forget, I said earlier, this is a society whereby we look down on the female child. That's an issue we need mm. to address. If somebody is raped, we say, why did you pass through that place? Very true. Mm. And why didn't you go the other way? Yes. We've never interrogated the male and said, why did you? Why did you allow the beast in you yeah. to come out and mm. rape a girl? Mm. And until the male species being dealt with, this thing will continue. And that's something I wanted to ask Mr. Akinlami. Uh, this whole incident for the girl child becomes, well, you know already, a lot of Nigerian parents don't believe in educating the girl child. Now, what do you think the, will be the effect of this kind of uh, incident on the minds of such parents? Well, um, I, I think that um, it's like um, 